So guys, um, in my new video, I'm going to be showing you this death bomb, which I have named it. You know, it's not a random coke gang with a... You probably don't know what that is. Well, this is magnesium ribbon. That's the fuse. Now, well, this isn't a very good fuse, uh, but you need this... Um, well, magnesium was very high temperature, and that's the reason I'm using the fuse. Because if you can't tell what I have here, ignoring the white powder, that's just random sand, the black... It's not gunpowder, something in my opinion way deadlier. It's um, copper oxide. Now, copper oxide, uh, sorry, copper oxide mixed with aluminum. If you don't know what that is, that is copper thermite. Now, uh, you must have heard of thermite, basic iron mixture. Now, that's pretty good. It makes a good iron blob if you know how to do it properly. Cool, some iron crystals maybe you can get. Nice. But, the true fact is, uh, the reason it reacts is iron is less reactive and it's in an oxidation state. Uh, and uh, aluminum is more reactive. Now, aluminum wants the oxygen, but it doesn't have it. Uh, iron doesn't want the oxygen, but it has it. Now, uh, I'm pretty young, so I don't really give the full explanation, but that's what I know. So, basically, you get each uh, igniting temperature, which in my example is when they're ready to give it. So, then the iron gives us oxide and turns from iron oxide iron to aluminum oxide and then uh, to the aluminum and aluminum is become aluminum oxide now enough of my bantering now well that's a pretty uh, uh exothermic reaction pretty aggressive reaction but the fact is if aluminum's here in reactivity and uh, iron's here copper is way down the floor in the ground through the earth in the mantle well basically what i'm saying is the copper is very unreactive aluminum is very reactive and um, let's do this. You know, funny thing is, this uh, magnesium would also probably react with the copper oxide. The magnesium, the magnesium copper oxide would actually be so explosive, I'm too scared. And uh, yes, I've tried this before, and it goes off literally like a bomb, and it scared my neighborhood. So I have added um, copper mixture, so you know, you get a little bit of co uh, metal copper, which you usually do get. You should get as a byproduct, but the reaction so fast, it just sprays it everywhere. So my steel container literally looks copper plated, which is actually pretty cool. So I added some sand and a little bit of copper to slow down the reaction. So it's not a bomb because I'm using about 50 grams, which is the largest batch I've used. So I'm scared. On video now. Now I'll just uh, get my setup ready. And the next shot, you'll see me blowing it up. So guys, um, you can see the bright flame inside that. Um, that is it. Magnesium lit. And I'm really scared. Guys, I'm actually really scared. Oh my god, that looks so cool. It lights up my whole yard just a little flame. Oh guys, I'm scared. I'm actually scared. It's gonna be big. Oh no, guys. So that's the problem with the magnesium. As I stated while I was just using the fuse. Um, it goes out. And with this much mixture, you really gotta be scared when it goes out. So I guess, um, fail clip. I'll try it again. You. This blow touch is actually really broken. And I took it as a light thing when I was in my last clip, but like, this does not work. I'll probably just get another blow torch and retry it. But first I'll try with this one, a little more gas. So guys, um, you saw me running. So I'm running away from that. And that is ready, I'm keeping my blow torch down. Too scared to touch that. Hopefully this actually goes. I'm scared, I'm scared. Whew, last time I did this much, it was big. I can see a dead Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was a firework. It's just the smoke. Oh my god, guys. Um, see the copper plating? And you can just see how bad the smoke is. Oh my god, that has to get... Look at this. This is the. I can bring a coke can. So, what? Just look at how toned that is. I'm fine. So, guys, I just got another thing. This is my first video. That's not the second. First take. So, um, here we go. Now, um, you see, just basic blow torch. I could use a match, but first of all, I don't think it actually indicts the magnesium. Probably could, but it'd be really hard. And blow touch is just easier, even though it's kind of broken. I mean, I have it on proper settings. The flame is just not very good. See, the flame is not concentrated. Well, I was like doing some experiments, but I 
put some sand inside this so it's blocked the tube now that's problem and um Let's do this. The interruption, guys, but like that was crazy. Just mad. Absolutely mad. You can just see it's plated. It is. I mean, I don't know if the colors come out very well, but you can see the copper color just around. Now you bring in a better, better light, actually, guys. But like this container, steel container, that might actually be one of my biggest batches. And um, to be honest, I don't think the sand and copper mixture work. But just look at that color. You can actually see it now. Copper. Well, um, if I'm right, my eyes are very fast. Not so, well, eyes aren't really fast. Slow motion will be better. I saw a little copper sparks. And um, not sparks, like a little piece of molten copper. Now, they're too small like harm my garden or set it on fire or anything. But, I mean, that shows the extra copper added. But he did something. You know, that's interesting. And well, I don't really care. I probably get no views on the next video, so I will produce slow motion eventually. But since I don't know any technical stuff, um, I will do slow motion for another uh, big explosion. This time, maybe a different one. And uh, if you know, guys, if I can just find it in here, horrible diamond. If you know what it is, you know what it is. And I can give you a hint very similar okay honestly i don't care it's it's iron oxide there you go aluminum you know the special thing is when cody's lab did his uh, copper ops, uh, copper video he said if you make the aluminum too fine it'll go off like gunpowder now well i can't make good gunpowder i'm too cheap to afford a ball mill um first dissolve it with water and then granulate and all that stuff i just make cheap quick horrible gunpowder so this is like my gunpowder I mean, the aluminum is ultra fine. It really just, I don't know if I can show you, but like you just shake it and this half of it turns to dust. It's so fine. And uh, I'm not open this iron, but I got it from the same company as Sulphur. It's pretty good. So that will be pretty good. But I'm probably going to slow this down because iron is meant to be slow and it makes great iron crystals. So I'll see you in the next one.